So we just uh, removed all the records from our um, uh, users table and um, uh, what's going on here? Which one of these is the correct one? Okay. Okay, so back to the login page, right? We need to log in again, or actually we need to create an account. And we want to make sure that things go well this time. So first of all, let's make sure in the sign up um, controller that we have added role as a user, okay? So that will be the default. But for the first, um, record that we'll add there will allow it to be admin but we'll change it later here we'll leave it like this and then when we go to the login uh, okay before that we need to encrypt our password so right here what i'm going to do is rewrite the password so while we are signing up i will put password here Let's see here, what's going on? Um, wait, I'm getting uh, a little lost here. Give me a second. Okay, so the password comes from here. Yeah, okay, so we are overwriting the same variable. I was wondering what variable are we supposed to overwrite? It's the same one. So we're going to say password is equal to, so the password is already in here in the post, but what we'll do is we'll use a function called password hash. This one takes a string, which is our password right now, password, and then this is the flag we're going to use. What method of hashing should we use? So you can go to php.net and check password hash, see what options you can add here. If you want a specific encryption, to work here but password default is fine because it chooses by itself and I prefer it that way when the latest technology comes in it will already be using that it will automatically use that so leave it with that password hash it will decide how to encrypt okay so now the password is hashed which is nice and the row is set which is nice so let's test those things now so I'm going to write uh, Mary Jane. We'll leave those emails and password remains as password. If we try to create, this is all good, but you have to agree with the terms and create account. Okay, good. Now it says your profile successfully created. Please log in. Okay, so here, we have to log in now if i try to log in this is the correct login uh, because this is a saved uh, thing uh, remember me we're going to fix that uh, later but for now if i click login to say wrong email or password even though it's correct and the reason is simple is because we need to we are forgetting that our password is hashed so if i go to the login controller okay um here instead of just doing this because i'm trying to get a hashed password to compare with a non-hashed password that the user has given so we have to change this if if statement it becomes um, we use a function called password verify to get to the bottom of the matter so this function returns true or false depending on if the passwords do match and not so we, not, we don't even need to put this uh, is identical. So remember that the one that is inside in row is the one that came from the database. So this one is known as a hash because it's hashed already. So that's the hash. And this one is the password that the user has just given us. So that's what we put there. And then let's cut this whole thing and put it inside an if statement like so. Okay. Great. So if things went well, let's authenticate. Rather nice. Alrighty then. Okay, good, good, good. So this should work. Let's check our database though to see what was written to this. And as you can see, the password is not password, even though that's the word, it's actually a hash now. So that's good, it's encrypted. Raw is user, though 
for the first item let's change it to admin for obvious reasons okay great so everything seems fine now and of course uh wait a minute this is just date i thought i had put date time here but no matter this is fine so now let's try and log in with the same uh it won't tell me wrong this time it will accept and there we go so accepted uh very good all right so now to uh check if somebody's logged in or to give them access or uh not is as simple as checking if they are logged in and then redirect them if they are not so for example the uh this part here where we have login and sign up those things should disappear once we are logged in so let's uh, deal with that i'm going to go to the header uh, section here which is in um, views includes and header so we would definitely need to change this so title of this will go to the name of the current page we should know what the current page is somehow and uh, this side will be the app name so let's put up oopsie daisy app name like this okay great here should be the name of the page now if you remember very well let's go to where is this controller let's go to app okay so the current uh page name is determined by the this first item here so this controller uh, is equal to that but then we let's see we set controller to this and then we say my controller okay so my controller is sent to this okay so this means that this part here always describes the current page because we did set that value to the first item there so all we need to do is go to the app and get this if we want to do that okay so one way we can access this because at the point that we are uh, we are doing all of this. Wait a minute. How often do I use this anyway? I need to check if it's just once. Uh, no, it's not just once. It's several times. Okay, so I want a value that I can access statically from... Um, hmm. No, maybe that's not a good idea at all. How do we do this? <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try to add a static value here, or maybe we can add a function that gets that for us. Shall we? Because that's. Uh, hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Okay, let's try something here. I'm going to write protected. Let me see if um, I can add a static value and it can actually do something. Uh, protected, static, and actually not protected. Let's put this as a public static and uh, let's give it a name. Um, we can't use controller. Uh, let's call it page maybe is equal to for now let's start with the same 404 copy and put it here all right we can change things a bit better later where we create another class to handle this instead of the main app but what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to save this value that is in the controller so that we know the page name and we can call it anytime to see what it is so i have to use static because i want to try and call it in a static manner but let's see if uh, i can set a value 
from a dynamic version to a static one I, I don't know if that's even possible so let's try anyway so here what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate this and then instead of uh, this controller I'm going to use self and then use the double colon like this and then make sure that uh, it's like that okay so this is how I call uh this value here so this is because it's a static uh variable so we call it in a static manner self is just this class itself it's like this but this is only used when it's an instance so you don't have instances when it's a static uh thing because i don't know how to explain this when we Let's go to uh, the public page here for a second. So here you see we did up is equal to new up. So what we're doing is we can do this several times like this. So each one of these is a different version of the same class. So these are known as instances. So they are instances. And in order to refer to a specific instance, you just use the word this. And then it will know which instance you're talking about because otherwise it would be hard to keep track of them. But if you're talking about the original class itself, you use self because it's in a static manner. The value that you add in a static manner is always permanent to that class. It's because it's not an instance. Hopefully that kind of makes sense, I hope. So uh, we're just setting this value to there. So I don't know if this will actually work, but let's test it and see. I'll know if it has worked if I, I am able to refresh the page without any error. So I am and so it seems it has worked. So what will happen now is this page value will contain what page we are on. So if I go to what was I even trying to do? If I come here and do this, I go to app because I want to that's the app class. I want to get that in a static manner and say page like this. I have to put my uh, my dollar sign there like this so up page that should return whatever page we are on from the up class let's see if that actually works and it has as you can see here it says home so pretty neat now we can say you see um, you see first so that we get a capitalized version. The first letter should be capitalized there. And if I refresh, there we go, we're on the home page. If I go to, oh, that's not part of the login page, is it? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so good on us there. That has worked pretty well. And then uh, in the navigation, let's go to the navigation now and there's login and sign up these should only show if we are actually logged in now we can put a php if statement in this case we'll use the auth like this because that's what checks to see if we're logged in we did create a function in there called logged underscore in like this and this function returns true or false depending on what's going on as you can see here there's this function logged in it will return either true or false so we can use that in an if statement and close that then let's put the end if like so very good let's push this in like that so if logged in show that but we want the opposite of that we want if not logged in so let's put an exclamation point to swap whatever we get if we get true it will swap it to false if we get false it will swap it to true so we are doing the opposite so if i now refresh you see when i'm logged in i don't um i don't see the login and uh, a page there instead what i should see is the logout page so let me duplicate this and let's put the else statement there full colon and then copy this login link and let's put it here and this one will be log out and it will give us log out again like that okay save so now if i refresh oops 
that's the wrong text yeah log out log out okay so i have log out now if i click log out now i'm logged out and i see login and sign up so that works pretty well but we also need to see the view the image uh not the yeah in fact the user image and the name if possible so that we know that we are logged in and we call, we tell them welcome or hi and then we write that name there so we can use the uh, auth class to do that as well so let's we will create those functions in the next video let's try and log in and see if things will change and there we go we have log out now so things are working we are able to log in now and we can now just use this question right here to limit access to pages where somebody should be logged in or not to see those pages. We just put this if statement, if logged, if not logged in or if logged in, show the page. If not, don't show the page. It's as simple as that. All right, so I will see you in the next video.